Welcome back to the Hobby King KK2 checklist video series. Part 2 KK2 Connections. Now let's install the KK2 and make all the connections. Solder on the voltage tester. Here's a video link showing how to solder it. Attach the KK2 to the center of your frame with double sided tape to reduce vibration. Make sure it's located in the center of the CG. Don't use anything metal to attach the KK2 or it may short out. Mount it with the buttons facing the back of the quad. Here's a special mod that I did to mount mine with these little rubber thingies around the four corners. It really helped to reduce vibrations. Connect the left side connectors, running male to male servo connectors from the receiver to the KK2. Your connectors from top to bottom are ailerons, elevator, throttle, rudder, and auxiliary. The auxiliary is used to turn self leveling on and off. Connect it to either flaps or landing gear channel of your radio. The ground always goes on the outside of the board. Connect the right side connectors to your motors. These are called M1 through M8 from the top to bottom. Connections vary based on motor count. On a quad, M1 is the front left motor, M2 is front right, M3 is rear right, and M4 is rear left. Again, ground goes to the outside of the board. In the next section, we'll look at the motor layout again. Connect the included buzzer to the board. Make sure the black wire is on the left and the red wire is on the right. Be sure to secure it somehow. This concludes this part of the video series. Click this link to automatically advance to the next part of the video series. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to get reminders for future videos.